Today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating how to part hair correctly and why I believe it's important and overlooked. So I'm saturating the top of his hair and combing through it to distribute the moisture evenly. And now that his hair is wet, I'm gonna comb through and play with it to see where I want to part it. For a correct shape, it's important to make sure your part isn't too high or too low. And the sides are easier to see where the natural parting should be. I identify a correct part by seeing that the hair is laying nicely without any bending at the root. Okay, so now onto the crown, which is the fun part, that either seems to get avoided or just cut off. I feel that this is a topic that doesn't get much light, but it is so important. So Nate's hair is all around very difficult to cut. As you can see, his cowlick at his crown is very prominent. So I'm combing his hair in different directions to see where it sticks up and lays down. When I find that, I can start parting. Again, I'm looking at the root to determine where I want to part the hair. The root will tell you where its natural bed is. Once I find the direction of the cowlick, I'm going to keep parting little by little and combing the hair in the right direction to see what needs to come or go. And I'll do this until I see that the direction of the roots are flowing and laying nicely. I think a big misconception is that every part should look like a perfect triangle or horseshoe, and that is absolutely not the case for everyone. Now I'm moving on to the other side and I'll continue to do the same thing as I did to the previous side. I really believe it's important to set aside a few extra minutes to find your client's natural hair pattern because this really does make a difference with how the haircut will come out. You really can't force hair to be anything that it's not. And I hear new clients say, please cut my calic off, it's so annoying. And the only reason they think that it's supposed to be cut off and that their hair is abnormally annoying is because it either wasn't cut right or it was just cut off in the first place. And I feel it's important that they know their cowlick isn't their enemy and they can keep it tamed with a correct cut. I honestly was terrified of cowlicks when I first started doing hair, but once I learned how to cut them properly, I became obsessed and obviously passionate about them. <laughs> Funny story, so when Nate and I started dating before I did hair, his crown would always stick straight up and I hated looking at it. And now that I do hair, I can see how easy it would be to cut his crown the wrong way because of how crazy it is. And not everyone's hair is this dramatic, but his head of hair is a really good example of why taking time to be a section god is important. And honestly, your clients really do trust you with their hair, so why not give them the best experience that they can get? The first step to a good haircut truly is a good part. And as I like to say, if Jesus could part the Red Sea, you can part that hair. The next video I'm gonna be posting is how to now cut the cowlick. So I'll post that either this week or next week, but keep a lookout and let me know what you guys wanna see.